How's it going folks? This is Joe with Joe's Gaming Electronics and today I'm going to show you guys how to swap a charger port on a Studio 2 wireless. The wireless and wired ones are very similar to swap. The only difference is there's more connections on the wireless PCB and the color is blue on a wireless one. Anything that's wired would be green. So we're going to use this part to install into this unit. And then the green ones, we also have this part as well if you need it. We do sell these parts. If you guys want to reach out to us, we can definitely ship it to you. Free shipping in the United States. And we have OEM parts. All right, so this unit has no power. Our guess is the charger port's damaged. And we're going to go ahead and swap it and fix this issue. All right, we're going to start by removing this muff. We're going to pry it with our pry tool here. We're gonna get under this leather and plastic, get under the plastic and push up. We wanna make sure we don't damage anything. We're gonna push up here. And the ear pad comes off very easily. There we go. We even have the adhesive on here. You can reuse the adhesive if that's something you wanna do. All right, we got some screws here. We got one, two, three, four, five screws holding the speaker housing and two screws holding the charger port. Get a smaller screwdriver here. And you can use the magnetic tip. That's gonna help you out for sure. And just make sure we don't lose these screws. Typically these charger ports go out because they're either overused, the inside of the port is damaged, you might have got some corrosion on there, um, just little things like that. They could have heat, heat up a bit. It is a plastic circuit board, so it can fail. Uh, the biggest thing with this is we want to make sure that our solder points on the charger port are going to be solid to make sure there's going to be great flow there. All right, so as you guys see, I didn't remove these two screws yet. We're going to go ahead and keep that on until we get inside these headphones. We're going to free up some wires here. They're just on tape. And then this is the inside of your speaker on the right side of your Studio 2 wireless. There's your speaker right there. You got a little amp right there. And then we got our charger port right inside there. Great, now that we got those wires freed up, we're gonna go ahead and remove this charger port and install a new one. Got the first screw. These screws are different sizes. Make sure you separate them. They look the same, same color just slightly a different size. Excellent. We got that removed. Got some more tape here holding this yellow wire in. And we're gonna remove that, excellent. So we're gonna remove this rubber mesh as it's holding all that together. As you can tell here, there's your schematics of your PCB. We're gonna go ahead and remove this and install a new PCB. These are the power, actually the power points that go to the charger port, to the board. The, you got your neutral there, you got your positive there. And then you got these extra ones going to the board as well, and some going to the auxiliary jack there. All right, so we're gonna remove these points first. You can swap this with the ribbon, but it's gonna require more work. We just recommend desoldering these points. Desolder the red one first, and the black one second. Excellent. All right, now we got our new charger port. We're gonna go ahead and put this back on, just so we don't forget the schematics. Got our black to the left, red to the right.
at the red point installed. Get this looks like a little bit of low on solder on this pad here. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on there. Excellent. All right. The biggest point with you is just positioning the wires in the right place. You want to make sure you get them in the right place. Don't be applying a lot of heat there. Just once you're in the right place, quickly tap on there, get that solder going, and you're on your way. All right. Now we're going to remove these other points. What well, well, looks like a green here, we got a red, and then we got our gold. Right to left. What you can do is actually pull up on this and slide it out of its little housing. You see this piece here is on a little piece of rubber. Make sure you don't pull it completely out, but all you can just pull it slightly out just so you can slide it back in. And then it kind of gives us a little bit more free rein here. And kind of guide these wires through here just so we have a little bit more space. We can even free up some of this tape. There we go, we're living the life now. All right. So now let's get these points on their way. All right, come on. All we gotta do is just keep working at it. Looks like one of my points here. I'm gonna get this a little, some of that solder out of the way. Excellent. Great, so we got all three of those points ready to go. You can really ins install these wires however you'd like. Um, this is just however you remove them, you can install them that way just so you don't forget. All right, we're gonna get that green one on there first. Great, green one's on. Now we're gonna get the red one. Looks like these wires decided to bond. I'm gonna go ahead and just guide our solder machine right through there, get them freed up a little bit. Perfect. With this red point, let's put it on there. There's a lot of space in between these points, so it's really it's really hard to miss. Um, it's just the biggest thing about this, getting these points on there accurately, getting lot, lots of solder in between the points and the board. Great. So we got the red one on there. Now we'll get the last one. All we gotta do is get this gold one on here. All right. Great. Looks like we have all the wires on there. Excellent. So we have all five wires soldered on there. Now it's ready to be reassembled. We're gonna go and follow all the steps in reverse. We're gonna go ahead and put this little amp back in its place. Make sure none of the wires are damaged on there. Put the charger port back in its place. Kind of slides in right there. Put the rubber mesh back in its place so it does its job. Excellent. Now we're gonna put the screws in their place to hold this while we install the speaker housing back into the headphones. If you're struggling with this and you just wanna send it in for a repair, we'd be more than happy to get this repaired for you guys. Or if you need the part, all you gotta do is reach out to us. You'll see our email in our description. All you gotta do is email us with your part inquiry We'll send you an invoice, you can make a payment, we'll get that shipped out to you guys. If you plan on sending this to our repair center, just follow the steps on our link. It's a five step process. We don't charge anything until we fix it and all you gotta do is ship it to our repair center. All right, so we got that all lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tape back onto the middle. I'm gonna tape this back down. Get the tape in the area that we were, usually what the tape is made for is just moving the wires away from the area that we're gonna be screwing back in. And that, that's gonna do its job and we're gonna make sure that we're not pinching any of the wires when we're putting this all back in its place. 
All right, I get a nice snug fit. Make sure that clip's in place. Excellent. Great, so we went all around, make sure that's all in place. Now we're gonna install these last screws. And for the adhesive on the ear pads, we sell the adhesive if you need it. If you wanna use the existing adhesive, that is also okay. Um, if you want to use some red tape, that's something that works. There's a lot of different ways of doing this. It's just really what, what works for you, what do you have handy. Um, that's usually what's going to work best for you. All right. We can just go acro across one, across the other. Just make a little diamond shape here. Great. Just want to make sure there's no gap there. We don't want to go too much where we're stripping any of the actual screws just far enough where we got a really nice flush finish connection with the speaker housing and the speaker itself. As you can tell, this is also the same exact repair you can do for your speaker. If your speaker is defective, if it's rattling or anything like that, just take these screws out. Don't even take the charger port screws out and then just desolder the two points on the speaker, remove the speaker, install a new one, and you'll be good to go. We also sell the speakers and any beats parts, so we have that as well. All right, so we took this off really nicely where the adhesive is still on here. We're gonna put this back on and we're gonna be able to fix this issue. Make sure we find the holes there. Great, one connected to the other. We're just gonna apply some pressure on the plastic and the ear pads. Great folks, look at that. It's like magic, but it's not. You know how to do it now. It's very easy. It's a Studio 2 wireless charger port swap. If you have a wired one, it's way easier. There's a lot less points, and it's a fairly simple thing to do. As you can tell here, there's only two points here, and the wireless one has five points. That's kind of what, how that works. All right, folks. Hope this helped you guys out. If you guys have any more questions or concerns, if you guys need any parts, reach out to us here. We'd be more than happy to assist you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and just put all the information in our bio. Comment it up, share, like us. You guys can follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, at Joe's GE, and on Facebook, Joe's Gaming and Electronics. Thanks, folks. We'll talk to you guys soon.